So today I'm going to show you how to turn this wooden bed frame into a DIY wood holder. So this project I've been working on for the past couple of days on and off, just in spare time I've had, uh, mainly for two reasons. It's been a little warm outside, it's been a little hot, and then mosquitoes. So I've only been able to spend a few minutes outside working on this idea. But today, it's Saturday, and the temperature has drastically decreased. It is already fall. But it's definitely fall today because I'm not here in a hoodie because it's chilly and uh, it's a beautiful day. So I think I'm going to try to figure out how to make this thing. I've already disassembled the bed frame that was built. I think I have an idea of how I want to build this thing. It should be pretty simple, pretty easy. I don't want this to look luxurious or anything like that. It's, it's really just going to sit right here and it's just going to be a place where we can put some of this extra wood that we have and any wood we accumulate over time so that it's not just sitting out because there's like three different spots it's sitting out there and we don't want it to just sit out there all right so i got all this cleaned up there was a big mess right here but this is where i'm thinking about putting it on the other side of that brick wall is where the fireplace is to put it it's about five and a half feet long so I don't think I'm going to take up the full space. I think I'm going to do like four, four feet across because I don't need it to be that bad, that big. But I've got the space cleaned out and that might be where I put the trash can. I don't know. Let me move it for now. It's kind of an eyesore. So I've got these two two by fours. A couple of options. I could just go get a couple of cinder blocks to put these on. I'm either gonna do that or I'm gonna build kind of some feet for it. But I think what I'm gonna do, have it, I don't know, maybe like that. Like I said, it won't be that long. It may be like this long here. So, but I'll put them on the ends, just like that. Here's an example of a piece of wood. So, something like that, maybe, I don't know. like that all of our pieces are cut we've got our feet I'm gonna do 
two on one side, two in the middle, and two on the other side. And then we've got our side braces or whatever you want to call it that I'll attach to each end. Um, these are 11 and a half inches apart. And then we've got our uh, long four, three and a half inch feet, these two here. And then we got our side posts, which I believe I cut those at, I think those are two feet, two and a half maybe. Yeah, two and a half, three and a half, and then two and a half. So, yeah, just like that. Okay, so here's an idea. I am not sure how to attach these right here, right? Um, I don't feel like that's super secure in that, so I'm wondering if I could just put those two and then those two on the inside and then connect them here to secure it a little bit more. That's really the only other option other than you know something like that but I don't I don't like that and I don't actually even know how I would I'd have to come in at an angle there on the side to go into the 2x4 so I'm not sure on that quite yet plus I've already got these pre-drilled holes so I'm trying to figure out how I could utilize those holes but this is what you this is what you get when you're repurposing an old bed frame trying to turn it into a wood holder. DIY is not always glamorous and sometimes things screw up and that's what just happened. But you have to work with what you got and do your best with it and that's what I'm doing. So I've come to the conclusion that I think the best way to put these side panels on is just on the inside just like that just to give it a little bit more support. I'm totally fine with that. I'm not picky. I'm not trying to make this the most beautiful thing ever. It just needs to be functional. But what happened when I was attaching it, some of the wood was already split, so, but that's totally fine. I'm not too worried about that. It started to split up here as well, but I think I should be good everywhere else, at least to put the other side on, so that's what I'm going to do now. Well, there it is, in all its imperfections. So there's still a lot, like I've said before, of wood out there from where the tree fell. And I've got to chop a lot of it up. I don't have an axe or a wood splitter. And so I'm gonna have to get one of those. I think my brother-in-law might have one I can borrow. Like I said before, this is why I'm building this now uh, because there's all this wood just sitting out on the ground and I don't want it out there. I'd rather it be up here where it can dry and be dry for the winter and accessible for whenever we're building fires for the fireplace. Okay, 
Today is a brand new day, and as you can see, I've put some pieces of wood here, uh, just filled it up. Uh, I'm going to actually chop up some wood this morning. Uh, my brother-in-law let me borrow his axe, and then uh, his maul. Um, so I'm going to be splitting a lot of the wood with this bad boy, I'm trying to fill this thing up. There is way too much wood right now to cut up and put here. I'm just going to fill it up for now. There's going to be a lot that's going to be left over, but <laughs> Desmond's playing with the cat. Say hello. Say hi, Des. Say hello. Say hello to the video. of these really big pieces I'm using this one as just kind of a base but we have a lot of these as well from the trunk that I've got to that I've got to cut up and we actually did we use one of these for the side table I don't think we did but we also have these here that are from another tree that fell on that, that our tree fell on and that branch had to come down so we have a lot of this so there's a little bit of different wood that we have to use as well. this video up here. I think that's all I'm going to do today. There's still so much wood to chop up, but I've got other stuff that I need to do. And I know this is technically Justin and Jess channel, and Jess wasn't really featured in this video. This was more of just a, this was more of a spontaneous project. I just decided to do this. We've had that bed frame for a while, and we were thinking about just getting rid of it. And I thought, no, I really want to build a wood holder just to get all of this wood in one place, because it's just been sitting out there for several months. And if this is something that you feel like you could do, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, um, but other than that, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all those good things. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.